Okay, now we will have this example for um, dating the variance and the standard deviation. Now this will be for group data. So we have here the example for the following set of data. Find the variance and the standard deviation. Okay. So of course, uh, the data is, um, the number of data is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 here. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 5 times 9, that will be 45. So our n, our n is equal to 45. Okay, so of course, we will group this one. So we will first create the um, frequency distribution table. So the first thing to do is to, um, is to arrange them from highest to lowest or lowest to highest, whichever is your fancy. So we have zero, so let's just first arrange this one. We have zero, zero to 10, we have 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to um, 40, we have 41 to 50, okay. And here we will have 51 to 60, 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, 91 to 100, 100 to 110. So I believe our data is more than 100. So we have here 124, 125. So we just proceed to um, maybe we will use this space here so we have 111 to 120 we have 121 to 130 and 131 to 140 okay. first we have here 22 we have for 22 Okay, so 22, we we'll put 22 here, then 83, so 83, then 70, okay, 70, then we have 40, okay, 40, and 50, we have 18, I believe the 22 is below, so let's just erase our 22. Okay, so the 22 is right here. 22. Then we have 55. Then we have 66. Then 98. Here is the 98. Then 96. Then 135, 135, then we have 28, then we have 74, 74, then we have 87, 87, 87. Then we have 118. So we have 118. 118 now. So 118. Okay, so I will just do this one off screen. And uh, after this, we'll just fast forward the, uh, the whole process. And we will get directly to the arrangement of the um, the the data from uh, lowest to highest. Okay, so now we have um, arranged our data from lowest to highest. Okay, so now we will do the uh, useful thing of getting the. Uh, integral limits and the real limits so first 
we'll have our um, number of intervals so number of intervals as uh, let's have 15 okay so 15 then our size of interval so this will be getting the range over our uh, number of intervals so our highest value or our highest data is 158 we will subtract with 13 and then we will divide it by 15 okay let's have our calculator Okay, so we have 158 minus 13 all over 15. So this will be 9.6. Okay, so we could go to 11 or we could go to 9. So for um, we will just go uh, then to the next higher add number, which is 11. Okay, so let's have our IS, or the size of interval, as 11. Okay, so let's just have this one is equal to 11. So our IS sub over 2 is equal to 5.5. Then getting our um, lower real limit, so that will be 158 minus 5.5. That will be equal to some our calculator uh, 158 minus 5.5. This is equal to 152.5. Okay, so we have 100. 52.5 and our upper real limit is equal to 158 plus 5.5 okay so let's have again our calculator okay, so this one we will have uh, 158 plus 5.5 Okay, so this is equal to 163.5. Okay, so we have 163.5. So we have 163.5. So that will be our uh, higher limit, our upper real limit, and our lower real limit. Okay? So... We will go now to uh, getting the frequency distribution table. So let's just have uh, have that one on our next uh, on a blank page. Okay. So our lower real limit. This is our upper real limit. So this is equal to. Let's just go back first to the that is 152.5. So we have 152.5. Then, one is 163.5. So, we have 163.5. Okay. Now, we will go on the process of getting everything until we will cover all of the data. Okay. So, our, our lowest data is 13. So, we will try to have the uh, class interval that will uh, contain uh, 13. Okay. So, if we will have our calculator, this, this will be 152.5 minus 11. Okay, so 152.5 minus 11, that will be 141.5. Then next, we will go to 130.5. Then all of that will be uh, the, the, the difference of this number is 11. Okay, so let's just have here the our calculator so I just put my calculator hidden so that will not hamper the 
screen okay so we have 141 let's just check the 141.5 minus 11 okay so that will be 130.5 then you have minus 11 okay that will be 100 this will be 119.5 119.5 then this will be 108.5 108.5 then we will have 97.5 And again, so just repeating the same process, 86.5, then the next one will be 75.5, I believe. So this is 75.5, then the next will be 64.5. I hope I will not run out of uh, space. This is 33.5. This is 22.5. This is 11.5. So let's just check. From 75, there will be 64. Then 30. Okay, so this is not 33, but 53. Sorry for that. So just erase this one. Okay, so this will be 53.5. You have 42.5. Then this will be 31.5. Then we have 20.5. Okay, then. So 20.5. Then the last one will be 9.5. Okay, I believe the 9.5 will cover our lowest uh, data, which is 13. Okay, then we just copy this one. It is 152.5. You have 141.5, 130.5, then 119.5. Then you have 108.5, 97.5, 86.5, 75.5, 64.5, 53.5, 42.5, 31.5, and 20.5. Then we have the lower integral limit and the upper integral limit. Okay? So... This one, so we'll round up this one, it will be 153, 163, 142, 152, this will be 131, 141, 120, 130, then we have 109, 119, then 98, 108, 87, then we will have this one as 97, 76, this will be 86, then 65, this will be 75, then 54, this will be 64, 43, this will just only be 53, 32, 42, 21, 31, 10, 20. Okay, now we will have the tally. Just use another color of pen, so the tally. Okay, so for our tally, we will um, get the tally from our arranged, the already arranged data. So we we'll just go on to the next page. So maybe we'll copy this one. We'll copy to the to this page so that we could have our guide. Okay. Okay, let's just put here 
Okay, so we'll start from 153 to 163 and that will just be 1 which is 158. Okay, so this is 1. Okay, what happens? This is 1. Then for 142 to 152, this will be 0. 131 to 141, we have 1, 2. So this will be 2, 1, 2. Then 120 to 130, so we have 1, 2, 3. So this will be 3, 1, 2, 3. Then 109 to 119, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 98 to 108. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 also. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then from 87 to 97, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then from 76 to 86, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Then from 65 to 75, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then from 64 to 54, so 64 to 54. So we have only 1. Then from 43 to 53, so we have 1, 2. So we have 2. 1, 2. 32 to 42, so we have 1, 2. 1, 2. 21 to 31, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And from 10 to 20, we have 1, 2, 3. This will be 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if we are going to get our total, so this will be our N, just to check. So this must be equal to 45. So maybe we just do the total in our frequency. So this will be 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 4. This will be 5, 4, 4, 1, 2, 2, 8, and 3. Okay, so we have here our total. Okay, so let's just use our calculator. Let's just show our calculator on the screen. Okay, so we have... Uh, that will be 1 plus 0. So this will be 0. So let's fetch back our calculator. So one zero. So let's just have that one as two plus three plus four. Then plus four plus five plus four plus four plus one. Plus two plus two plus eight plus three is equal to forty three. So we have lacking, I believe. So we are lacking with certain number of data here. Okay. So it will be eight, two, two, one. Okay, so this is five. So we made a mistake in this one. This is five. Okay, sometimes we get um, a little careless on writing our frequency. Okay, so this will be 5. Ah, no, that will be 6. Sorry for that. This will be 6 and this will be 5. Okay. So let's just correct that one I'll click later to check if we have um, really got the total number of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4, plus 6, plus 4, plus 5, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2, plus 8, 
plus 3 and that will be all so 45 so we have here 45 okay so let's just remove this one because we have already used the um tallied our uh, the data then next we will go to getting the midpoint okay, we will just midpoint okay so the midpoint is the the number in between our uh, integral limits okay so let's just have our calculator the calculator okay we have 153 and plus 163 63 okay we have divided by 2 and that will be 158 so right here 158 and everything else will be minus 11 from the succeeding interval so 158 minus 11 that will be 100 147 then minus 11 that will be 136 minus 11 this will be 125 okay then minus 11 this will be equal to 114 then we have 103 then this will be maybe this will be 92 okay 92 then we have 81 then we have 70 then this will be 59 then this will be 48 this will be 37 this will be 26 26 and we'll have 15 so let's just check so 20 plus 10 it will be 30 divided to that will equal to 15 okay now the next one so this we'll just uh, rewrite our midpoint so we could have our midpoint as m as the formula suggested okay so the next one for this one is we will get the mean so how to get the mean so the mean is first we will get the um, the frequency times the midpoint or M so the our so we have frequency times the midpoint so first this will be 158 this will be 0 this will be so we just have that one in our calculator be 136 times so we have 272 okay 272 then 125 times 3 I believe that is 625 then 114 times 4 114 times 4 so this will be equal to 456 456 then 4 times 103 so this will be equal to 412 ok then we have 92 times 6 two times six so this will be five hundred fifty two fifty two then eighty four times four oh no eighty one times four so right eighty one times four so this is equal to three hundred twenty four so three hundred twenty four then seventy times five that will be three hundred fifty then we have 59, 96, uh, 2 times 37, this will be equal to 74, 8 times 26, so 8 times 26, so 
So, 8 times 26. So, this will be equal to 208 and 45. Okay, so we will get the sum of our frequency times our midpoint. Okay, so we will get the sum of that one in the later part uh, in the next video. So as of now, we have done the frequency distribution table and we have uh, made the first step in getting the mean of our group data. And as always, thank you for watching this video and keep on studying.